activate. And basically, here we go, guys. So this is going to be the play. And it really helps if we do have an escape artist quarterback. As you can see, we get the chop block there. And we're just able to throw it right on top of the defense for an easy touchdown with Tyreek Hill. Now, I am going to go over this since the in the instant replay. And I'm going to show you guys really what's up and why this play works really well. So we're going to go over to the instant replay. So the big thing we're going to watch here, the player we're going to watch, is going to be this corner. So because Sammy Watkins is on the comeback, as you can see, he has his back turned. He kind of like stops for a minute, like right there. He kind of stops. And because of that, we're able to throw this ball over the top to Tyreek Hill. So as you can see here, when he catches this ball, and boom, right there. As you can see, uh, I think that's, who is that? Harris, I think. Anthony Harris, he has no room to make a play on it. And neither does number 26, Trey Waynes. He has no room to make a play on this ball. So as a result, we get an easy one play touchdown. That's going to be against cover three. Now we're going to move on here to cover two. I'm going to be showing you a really good play you can use out of this to beat cover two. So the beginning of the setup is the same. You're going to block both the running back and the fullback. So we're just going to do that right now. And then the next thing you're going to do here is you are going to... Let's see. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do here is you're going to be motioning out this A player, which is your tight end. You're going to motion him out to the left side, and it's going to come in really handy. We're going to motion him out there, and then also we're just going to double team and ID the mic any players on the left side this time because we're going to be looking for this post route right here with Sammy Watkins. So what we're going to do, we're going to press LB, and then we're going to flick the right stick down, and we're going to double team. This is Daniel Hunter. I'm going to be confident. This is Daniel Hunter. We're going to double team him, then we're also going to ID the mic hey, this player right here that way just in case if they break through they will be picked up so here we go we're going to be going through this oh right God. here so we're going to be looking for this b route right here as you can see he gets picked up and then we just wait and then we throw this ball to the sideline now that wasn't really that clean but it does work right there that pulse route and i'm going to be going over i mean that that kind of picked up the middle read and i hold on i gotta turn on my volume really quickly okay so as you can see we're going to be watching this post right here and as you can see, motion's over. Now, the thing is, Eric Kendricks does stay with him, but most of the time, that middle linebacker is going to be usered, so that won't be covered. Now, also, in this case here, you would also, I think, have this post as well as this corner route as well. So if the post route isn't open, you might have the deep post, and you also might have the corner route by that A route right here. It's more of a, it's more kind of a post route, but it's running to the right side. So now we're going to be moving on to cover four. I'm going to show you two right. sets out of this. So the first setup is the same setup I just went over. Block both the running back and the fullback. Motion A over. And then you're going to be looking, in this case here, you can either look for A or B, whatever looks more open. So we're just going to double team... We're going to go with this guy, considering he's an x fact, and then we're going to ID the mic this guy. So here we go. We're just going to run this play. And as you can see, we motion over, and out of cover four, this post gets really open right here with Sammy Watkins. But also, I believe if we wanted, we could have hit up Travis Kelsey on that corner route. And I'm going to be showcasing this right now. So we're going to be looking at Travis Kelsey. Or it's not a corner. It's a post. I, you know, got my things mixed up. But yeah, you could have hit that up like right there. You could have tried to fit it in. And that's pretty much like the first setup. Now the second setup is going to be the cover four beater. What you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing. Block both the running back and the fullback. You know how this works. Then we're going to be motioning out this X receiver to the left right here. And what we're going to be trying to do is we're going to just going to try and get him to beat the over the top coverage. So I'm going to audible into cover four here. And we're going to be running this play. And it's pretty simple. We're going to be running this. Now, we're, now our main thing here, we're going to be wanting to motion out to the right. So we're going to double team the X factor. And we're going to ID the mic, this outside linebacker right here. So here we go. We run this play. Now, as you can see, we did not get the best animation of that pass rush. But as you can see, we lost the coverage right there. We didn't even have to roll out. And Tyreek Hill got open. Now, this does benefit if you have a quarterback like Patrick Why? Mahomes Why? or Lamar Jackson. That, someone that has a skate artist. It does really benefit you in that situation. But I'm going to show you. So here we go. Tyreek Hill. We're going to be watching this right safety here. So this right safety, Harrison Smith, he is in a deep half. And I'm going to show you what happens, why he does not keep running back. So as you can see, we're watching him right here. He kind of stops. Like right here. No, not right there. But as you can see, I'm going to be showing you right here. So right there, he starts to stop, which is going to be huge. So he stops right there. And because of that, he's not going to be able to get back. And this post is going to be wide open. And as you can see, Anthony Harris could not really make a play on this ball because he is to the left, to the opposite side of Tyreek Hill. And obviously, Harrison Smith can't make the play because he's a bit back. 
but that's why this cover four beater works and it's honestly really effective man this is a really good play at i form close i went over this already you can use this not only in the red zone but also as a really good passing play so you can mix it in with like the gum munch and the gum munch tight ends and gum munch quads if you're using the raiders of the chiefs playbook and guys that's pretty much going to do it for this video i hope you guys have enjoyed if you did smash a like stretch some five likes make sure to check out redzonetips.ga an article will be going up right after the release of this video anyway guys take care most importantly Stay classy.